How do you feel right now after the match? Disappointed, upset. Uh, yeah, just disappointed, you know. I really wanted to come out here and perform at my best. And just got caught. Um, your match has just ended, but uh, if you could tell us anything about your future plans. Uh, get back in that winning column. You know, that, this was my last uh, fight on contract with Ryzen. So uh, now I'm a free agent and uh, I'll go where the money goes. Hopefully, um, I'll stay right here in Ryzen. Um, it may be too early to sort of, you know, uh, recall and analyze your match, but uh, what do you think went wrong for, for, uh, for you? He hit me too damn hard. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, just one of those things just got caught. You know, I think he timed uh, overhand right over my jab, clipped, clipped me, uh, kind of felt my legs go. I knew he was going to come back with a knee or a soccer kick on the ground, so I prepared and got the takedown. And uh, he just he was scrambled. He was quick to the scramble and got back to his feet. And then um, I don't really remember after that. I think he hit me again, and then I fell to the ground. And then, uh, yeah, the, dot, the ref waved it off. But I felt the, really the only punch that, you know, the really the only punch that had, that um, had me off my game was the overhand that dropped me. And then once I got the takedown, I felt good. I felt like I was ready, to, you know, I felt like I was still in the fight. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't recall ever getting hit clean again after that first one, but I think, I, I think my corner was telling me I did. So whatever, like I felt good. I felt, you know, I went in there, I did my thing. It was just, it was his night. So wish him all the best in the finals. <laughs> So looking back at your late uh, weight Grand Prix uh, fights in overall, how would you assess that? <clears throat> I mean, you know, I what am I four and one this year with Ryzen starting last last year New Year's Eve. You know, it sucks to to come out here and to not get you know not reach my goals, which was to to win the lightweight Grand Prix. But at the end of the day, man, like I had a really great year with Ryzen. I've grown as a fighter and a person more so in my career over this this short year of time fighting here in Japan. So, you know, as much as it sucks to lose, as much as it, it, it hurts my heart, you gotta find the silver lining and you gotta you gotta grow, you know? Like that's that's really all it is. You know, this sucks now, but it's supposed to. If it didn't suck, it wouldn't force you to overcome and to get better. I mean, that's what I plan on doing. Hello, Mr. Case. Um, so after four fights in Ryzen, do you have, a, as a fighter, do you have a preference now for the rule set over in Japan versus in the U.S.? Japanese rule set all day, every day. Definitely, 100%. I wish uh, Japanese with elbows. Like, I like to throw elbows, and that's kind of a, you know, pl that could, the, the fight with Kitioka, obviously. Like, you know, I was able to throw elbows. It, it makes a difference. But definitely the right, the Japanese rule sets far exceeds um, American rule set. And just um, overall, your last year fighting in Japan, what has it been like, just the um, Japanese fan, Japanese promotion versus, you know, American fans and American promotions? It's no comparison. Japan, Japanese fans, they're the, be the best in the world. They're the most educated. They, you know, they respect fighters just going, you know what I mean? They, whereas an American, it's so fair weathered, you know, and they're more... They're more focused on your wins and how popular you are. You know, they're very uneducated to the sport. They're very uneducated to f fighting, you know. So Japanese, j fighting in Japan is the best place to fight in the entire world. And uh, that's, I've fought every, I've been lucky enough, I've fought everywhere. i fought in Mexico, i fought in Brazil, i fought in Australia, i fought in the, Amer in the United States. Japan is the best place to fight. Happened this year that has changed you? Mainly just the growth I've had as a fighter and a martial artist, you know what I mean? Like, you know, this was my 13th year as a professional fighter. <clears throat> and you get to this point where you think you have it all figured out. You think you've seen everything the sport has to offer. And you're humbled every time. You learn, you learn every time you go out there. If you're, if, you're, if you're improving, if you have the mindset to go out there and you're improving, you're learning all, all the time. And, you know, I think the biggest thing I'm taking away from this year is just my growth, my consistency, too. This is the most fights I've had um, in, a, in a calendar year <clears throat> in my career. And the consistency in the gym has made all the difference, you know, whereas before it'd be like I'd fight and then I wouldn't fight again for 
three, four months, well, I wouldn't be in the gym, you know, I wouldn't be doing things a professional athlete should be doing, you know, I'd be out at the bars chasing girls. And, you know, the biggest thing is just being consistent with my training and the growth that I've had because of that. <clears throat> also just, you know, just enjoy everything, you know, at the end of the day, like I got a pretty fucking sweet life. <laughs> I love fighting. I love doing what I do. And I love being on the biggest stage and rising is, is just, catapulted that 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 thirst and that hunger for the sport again you know the new rule set learning the new rule set was like learning a whole new fight so it just feels like you know just starting over it's come full circle i'm a more complete fighter i've seen things i've been there um it was just yeah just this the whole year just everything the fan break the fan base growing my fan base here in japan and uh just growing growing as a as a man as a fighter So obviously, you know, it's never a good feeling to lose, but um, are you still leading a life outside of martial arts as an entrepreneur? And do you feel like this loss has maybe taken pressure away from focusing so much on training and you can kind of spend more time on that side of things? Uh, no, definitely this loss has fueled me to want to get back to training and get better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I definitely have things outside of fighting, you know, um, oh no, uh, MMA promotion in, back home in Iowa. And yeah. Um, you know, the goal is always to, to help up and coming fighters, you know, grow and, and to get onto the big leagues. And um, that's something I've always been passionate about and I'll continue to be passionate about. And I'll always, <clears throat> I'll always put my energy and focus into that. So, you know, now that I got some time off for the new year, uh, my girlfriend is fighting in March. So now it's my time, you know, she's been so awesome this whole year, hasn't, you know, took the time off from her career and helped me with my career. So I'm just really looking forward to using this time to help her and get her in there and get a win and um, just focus on my training and just getting better.